monkey in the tree. It uses three balloons. Uh, it starts off with the bark of the tree itself, so I'm going to use an orange balloon for that. Bolt the balloon with about an inch of air at the end, uh, space at the end. Tie knot. I'm going to make this bark with a base so that it can stand up on the table. So with that I'm going to basically curl this around and make a small section of approximately one, two, three, four, five inches, five inches of balloon and twist it to itself. Take the knot and twist it through so it seals itself just like this. I'm going to make the exact same size bubble by twisting this over and twisting it like so. And again one more time. This time I'll twist the balloon first and just knot it to this. This will now be the face for which it sits on the table or on the floor. Make that so it's nice and flat. Straighten this out so it goes upwards and we'll come back to this in a moment. We're going to make the leaves for the top of the tree. Use a green balloon for that. We're going to take the balloon, twist it with about half an inch of space at the end and tie a knot. I'm going to do a similar type of technique which I do for the flower in which I take the, the knot, the two ends and tie them together using two pinch, two, I have to tie it twice so that it doesn't come undone. I take the pinch end and push it towards the, 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 the middle of the, the thing so it makes two hoops and twist so that you get the letter 8 or infinity. Place those two ends together, pinch everything, bring it to the middle and twist the whole lot so you get this full, full twist kind of um, feature which will be the top of the tree. I'm going to go to the base, I'm going to create a small bubble, just a small one at the top of the base and then twist that bubble around the tree bark like so. I'm going to position it so it all looks like the top of a tree. The monkey, we're going to use a red balloon for a monkey. I don't have any brown balloons today, so normally I like these brown, but they monkey. Blow it up with approximately an inch, an inch and a half of air at the end. Tie the knot. I'm going to do the same kind of face that I do with a lot of my balloons, which is a one inch bubble. Push it over and twist the mouth of the balloon to that knot and twist and lock. Place the knot through the, the gap. Two eyes, approximately one inch balls, or three quarter inch balls, and lock so you get the face. We're going to do a neck, and now we're going to do first to the arms, which is a big arm, approximately two inches in long, and then a small fist. Make sure that stays in there. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. I'm going to take the tree, look for whichever one of these branches is a tiny bit bigger than the rest, go for this one, and feed the end of the red balloon through the branch. Making sure that there's two R, two little hands in the tree branch where it's going to go. I then go back to where the, the, it's actually come undone, so if I twist that where the arm is, bring those together and lock them. So now the monkey is nested inside of the tree branch. I give a, a body, which is approximately an inch and a half in size, and then I do a leg, which is approximately another inch and a half, but with this time with a little foot, another little foot, and I bring them together to make the legs same size and twist. I take the tail, give the tail a curl and make sure that the monkey is positioned downwards so that it's going through the tree. Then take my pen, draw one eye on this side, one eye on this side and there you have a monkey and a tree. The actual benefit of this one is it actually will sit on your table. Make sure the weight is balanced, but there we go. So you can pull that as a table decoration um, and it looks pretty cool. You can manoeuvre it as so. 
We'll try an over the shoulder shot. I'll choose the right colours. First. So we've got about an inch of space at the end. I'm going to make a small six inch kind of round bubble and keep that knot through there. Another six inch round and another six inch round and that will become the basis for the bark of the tree. Do the top of the tree. So, pull up a green balloon, tie the knot, take the two ends and tie them together like so. Go for the knot, pull it next to the edge of the balloon and twist. Put them together, go to the edge of the balloon, push them together and twist. Go back to the tree, make a small bubble, and just twist that around the leaves. And there you've got the basis for a tree. And now the monkey. He needs a, a small face, the same face I've done before. I'm taking two bubbles, messing them together, and twisting them up inside. Two small balls for the eyes, twist them a lot, and you get the head and neck. Twist it a bunch of times. One big arm, approximately two and a half inches long, and a small, two small hands. This now needs to be fed through one of the branches. I'll come back to that in a minute. Put the arms back in. Goes around. And back in. Goes around and connect. One. Give it a body, two back legs, and two feet. Lock those together. Give it a fill on the tail, straighten them out. And there you should have a monkey in a tree.